Inside one of Istanbul's most popular night spots, a jubilant New Year's Eve countdown. Three, two, one. Not long after the cheering and sparklers, this man appears at the entrance. In surveillance video, you can see shots ricocheting as the gunman unloads, entering the nightclub. From another angle, he's seen outside, firing. <laughs> Nearly 40 people are killed, scores of others wounded. An American inside the club says he played dead to survive as the gunman walked just inches from him. I got shot in the leg, man. These crazy people came in shooting everything. I don't know. I saw one person. They're shooting and hiding. From another witness, a horrific account of how determined the suspect was to kill. As soon as he entered the club, he started firing, and he didn't stop. He fired nonstop for 20 minutes at least. We thought that there were several of them because it just didn't stop. And there was some kind of bombing as well. He threw some explosives. Turkish officials say the gunman got away, and tonight there's a massive dragnet across Turkey and neighboring countries. Turkish media have put out images of the suspect, including this surveillance grab, obtained by CNN from the Turkish police. CNN cannot verify its authenticity. There's certainly facial features there that you can, you can recognize, jawline, um, the, eye, the eye area. Um, someone, someone who know him would be able to pick that photo out. Turkish officials say they also have fingerprints of the suspect and have detained eight people for questioning. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, saying a soldier of the caliphate targeted the nightclub. But the terror group offered no other clues on the suspect's identity, and experts say this could be the work of an ISIS sympathizer rather than an attack directed by the group. Anybody who's a trained-up ISIS operative who's conducting a terror operation abroad Typically, uh, it's a suicide mission. I mean, we saw it in Paris, we saw it in Brussels. They don't, they don't tend to stay alive. Now, the, the ISIS-inspired attacks, these guys tend to uh, be less professional or, or less beholden to the ISIS mantra of going on a martyrdom operation.